Hey guys, Andrew Shroud, I'm here on the sideboard. I'm here with Gerard Fabiano. Hey everybody. One of the uh, at-large competitors here in the Players' Championship. Are, are you calling me large? Because, I mean, that's... I'll call you at-large. Oh, at-large, okay, yeah. no problem, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're here to talk about your legacy deck, Zach. Yeah. And uh, let's jump right in. You're playing Sultai Control. Yep, Sultai in both formats. I love Sultai. Uh, it's just really fits to my style of play. Mm -hmm. I like some disruption, some good creatures, some card advantage, and, you know, maybe some counters thrown in there. Okay. So, yep. So, not Sultai Delver. Yep, no yeah. Delver. I think Delver is definitely a good card. I mean, a 1-mana 3-2 flyer, how is sure. that not a good card? I think a lot of people are more prepared for those types of cards nowadays. Okay. I wanted most of my threats to not be able to be killed by Pyroblast okay. or maybe by Lightning Bolt. That's why I chose to go with four Tarmogoyf. Okay. I think Tarmogoyf is still one of the best creatures ever printed. Sure. Uh, it could be up to, you know, 6-7, seven, seven, eight, whatever. I think 8-9 is the biggest. Is that Probably. possible? Probably. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, but I've, never, I've never seen a 9 10. So <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, I think yeah, 8 9 yeah, is, yeah, yeah. is the biggest. But I mean, yeah. regardless, 2 mana, 4 5, super good. Even though some people will be delving away their graveyard, mm -hmm. you will still have cards in your graveyard. Uh, it's legacy. Cards go to the graveyard. Sure. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, four copies of Deathrite Shaman, super good to really control you, the size of your opponent's graveyard mm -hmm. and kind of put you one step ahead. Uh, it's also nice to be able to gain life, and it's also nice just to have an answer to, say, if somebody shows up with, like, a reanimator-type deck okay. or a dredge. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be playing with Treasure Cruise, so okay. this helps fight Treasure Cruise sure. in some way. Okay. So, and, uh, of course, Trinity uh, Nemesis, really, really good card. Yeah. It could be Pyroblast if it's on the stack, but once it hits play, it's very difficult for your opponent to deal with. Okay. And as you can see on the next slide... Uh, hopefully those cards are the next slide. Yep, exactly. All right. Perfect. Thoughtseize will really clear the way for sure. a true name. So maybe your opponent does have, you know, their one council's judgment, or maybe yeah. they do have a pyroblast. You could set it up where I'm going to Thoughtseize you, and then true name's going to come down, it's going to resolve, okay. and now what are you going to do about it? Sure. Uh, one counter spell, super good. I actually uh, purchased a beta counter spell from nice. the wonderful StarCityGames.com okay. for $80. Uh, so I want, really wanted to play it. Yeah. And plus I think counter spell is a good card in general. Okay. Uh, I don't think you want to play a lot of counter spells, but playing one is pretty nice. And I'm playing two copies of Days mm -hmm. because if you have a lot of good threats in your deck that are cheap, you kind of want to go Tarmogoyf and have a Days backup. Sure. And one thing you'll notice is that when we slide through the whole thing, mm -hmm. there'll be zero copies of Force of Will. Okay. Okay. Force of Will is definitely a good card, right? Yeah. The only problem is it's card disadvantage. Sure. And as you know, I don't really like the Mulligan. I don't like card disadvantage type okay. cards. So is it a risk not to play Force of Will? Sure. Your opponent could combo you off, you know, turn one, two, or three. Yeah. But hopefully with my discard and some of my other counter spells, I'll be able to combat that. Yeah. Inquisition plays as a fifth Thoughtseize. Mm -hmm. uh, it was actually some talk. Reed suggested that maybe a Duress would be better, just because there are Dig Through Times. There's mm -hmm. Jace the Mind Sculptor, which is tough for this deck to beat. And there's Treasure Cruise. But I think Inquisition is really powerful against something like a Stoneforge Mystic sure. or against other Tarmogoyfs or a Lightning Bolt or yeah. a Pyromancer. Kind of keeps the, the bomb threats from hitting. Play. Yeah, I mean, there's some argument where Duress could take a Batter Skull. Right. But Inquisition is definitely a, a nice card as a, as a fifth For sure. 40 Ks, I love Decay. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, you feel really safe where you can pretty much kill anything. No one really shows up with Divert. No one really shows up with Misdirection for the most part. So just a really good card, and I expect, you know, a couple of people to play Miracles. Okay. So being able to get out of a counterbalance lock is really good. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, in addition to the four abrupt decays, uh, removal spells five and six disfigure. This is not a card that yeah. we see in a lot of main decks, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, disfigure is not that great, to be honest. It's not, you know, it's probably not even half as good as Lightning Bolt. Mm -hmm. But with blue, green, and black, what can you really play for one mana removal? You can play Vapor Snag, but it doesn't really rem remove the creature. Sure. I mean, people will show up with Delver, people will have Young Pyromancer, so why not have something that's really cheap? Sure. And Disfigure is the best option. Yeah, just something to keep the board clear early and yeah. cheap. I know some people like Dark Blast, but okay. I just think Disfigure is good because you could kill other Deathrite Shamans sure. or Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Um, here we have a one Golgari Charm, just a nice sweeper. Yeah. It went back and forth. It could be a Toxus Deluge if you guys really like that card, but Charm has a couple of other options. Regenerate your guys. Mm -hmm. You know, minus one, minus one, or of course, kill an enchantment. Sure. Uh, and then this is a kind of a new addition to because most of the time you don't really see counterbalance and top yeah. in a Sultai deck. So uh, I think this is a nice combo just to have. And again, anytime you have Thoughtseize, your other cards just naturally become better. Okay. So that's something to really think about because Thoughtseize is going to be around for what another year? Almost in, in standard. In yeah. standard, mm -hmm. and pretty much always in modern and legacy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Thoughtseize is a great card, for and sure. it helps other cards out too. Yeah. Only two and two. What do you think? Do you like? I'm not sure. I, me personally, yeah. I, I have never registered a sentence dividing top, and I never will. Oh, really? Just the okay. act of, of activating <laughs> top, I just—it's not yeah, for sure. me. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I thought about playing three, 
but in the next slide, you'll see what I played instead of a third okay. Divining Top. All right. Let's take a look. It's right. Yeah. There we go. One of Sylvan Library. Okay. So this card is super good against Miracles. I have registered this card. It, I, I like and this And it's good. One. Yeah. Yeah. And it's actually pretty funny because before I played this deck, I was pretty much set on playing an Abzan uh, kind of hate deck mm -hmm. where I was playing two chains of Mestopheles. Yep. Um, Mephistopheles, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I can't say that card. Chains yeah. of that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was interesting because I couldn't play Sylvan Library in that deck mm -hmm. because it's a Nambo. Sure. But I knew I wanted to play Sylvan Library and it kind of fit perfectly into this okay. deck. Three Treasure Crews. This is not the best Treasure Crews deck, so it was tough to play four. Yeah. And one Jace just because I wanted another win condition. Sure, yep. So it's like another card advantage engine that also can just win the game. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's bad against Pyro Blast, but you still have Discard for that. Sure. And then tying it all together, Brainstorm. You're, you're, yeah. you're a blue deck in Legacy. Yeah, Brainstorm is super good. It's really tough not to play uh, Brainstorm. You have mm -hmm. to have a really good reason. So, uh, yeah, four Brainstorms, two Liliana of the Veils, and Creeping Tar Pit, which is actually really cool because I think this is one of the few lands that you really want to play in Legacy. Okay. Yeah, you know, the other man lands are great for modern. Right. But as far as Legacy goes, Creeping Tar Pit, I really like playing one of. Okay. Yeah, and Wastelands on the down. Hill now. Okay, are, are we playing play. any wastelands here? No, we're not playing any wastelands. Okay. Okay, we're playing 20 lands, maybe skimping a little on lands in this type of deck, but in Legacy you see so many cards with top or brainstorm, sure. so I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we have 10 fetches to go through treasure cruises. Seven dual lands. Yep. Yep, and then of course two basic lands to, to end it out, one swamp, one island, just in case I'm, you know, there's a good chance somebody shows a blood moon. Okay. At least when you have an island, you can fetch it and you'll be able to have the blue elemental blast. Okay. And this casts Death Rush Shaman. Sure. Yeah. All right. So, uh, again, before we get to the sideboard, I want to okay. talk, talk a little bit about the metagame. Yep. I, I, I know you're not showing up with a control deck to a 16 player tournament without having put a lot of thought into what your individual opponents are going to be playing. Yeah, and I think when you see the sideboard, you'll see a lot of one-ofs and a lot mm -hmm. of two-ofs to kind of sculpt against those opponents. Okay. So my prediction was probably two people, maybe three, would play Miracles. Two or three might play some kind of Jeskai deck. Mm -hmm. uh, there'd be an Elves player, possibly an in, uh, Infect player, okay. Blue-Red Delver, uh, maybe a Storm player. So essentially, all these cards are good against those decks. Okay. Some cards aren't so good, like this figure is not good against Storm, Sure. so that's when you board it out for more of the hateful type cards. Okay. Yep. So the sideboard is basically just uh, being able to kind of tweak the numbers to where exactly. you take out the, this, as simplistic as it sounds, take out the bad cards, bring in the good ones. Exactly. Right. And, and you have your card draw and your card selection type cards, like Sylvan Library or yeah. Brainstorm. If it's bad, you don't draw it. If it's good, you want to draw it. Sure. This figure comes in against pretty much any creature deck, mm -hmm. uh, be pretty good against you know Elves or Infect, of course, uh, good against Blue Red Delver. Blue Red Delver doesn't have that many threats, if you think about it. They have four Delvers, four Pyromancers, and the uh, Swift Spear. Monster Swift Spear, yeah. yeah. Well, whatever it's called. So if you kill all their threats, how are they going to beat you? Mm -hmm. Golgari Charms helps with that. Uh, you know, if they get a couple of tokens down, wipe them away. Mm -hmm. And the Spell Bomb's really good because a lot of people will show up with Treasure Cruise decks. So even if you could get like four cards or five cards out of their yard, that Cruise might get stuck in their hand and they'll have to try to rebuild their graveyard and you're going to cycle and draw a new card. Okay. Yep. And then we have Spell Pierces. Yeah, two Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is really good against pretty much any combo type deck. Uh, show and tell. It's even good against Miracles because mm -hmm. they try to land an early top. They try to land an early counterbalance sometimes. Although in this matchup, I feel my Miracles opponents might board out all their counterbalance. Uh, Spell Pierce is still good. Flush of Storm is good against combo as well. And Blue Elemental Blast, really, really good against Blue Red Delver. And also good against any red deck that's going to show up just because, hey, one mana, sure. kill anything. Yep. Thrun? Thrun, yeah. That's a lot a of people one. don't know yeah. that, that Thrun is actually not the last troll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There, there were trolls printed after Thrun. It is true. Oh, uh, really? There were a couple. Oh, I didn't know. I, I was trying to troll you. I got, no, you're, you're succeeding <laughs> right now. Okay, I'm well, walking I'm, into your trap. <laughs> all right, anyway. Let's, let's get back to Thrun. Yeah, Thrun, really good against Miracles. They really don't have too many answers to it. Uh, they could Terminus it to the bottom, but then you could do a sack land and mm -hmm. then maybe draw it again in the future. Uh, also good against Blue Red Delver, right? It's a 4-4. It's a four, four. Sure. They're going to be tough to you know kill. Possibly, and it regenerates, can't be countered. I yeah. like it. All right. Yeah, sweet card. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Notion Thief, really cool card. I actually drew, I think it was 43 cards, maybe. It was well, something. That, 41 or 43 cards. cards. Yeah, my, right. my, my opponent played, I set it up pretty well. My opponent played Enter the Infinite, yep. I believe. Okay. And then he played some other card. First, he played some card. Omniscience and then yes, Enter the Infinite. Exactly. Okay, yeah. And then I, I did Notion Thief. And okay. I didn't deck myself and I won the game. So that Not was really good. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. And Submerge is really cool. I think Submerge is a card that will be off people's radar for the most part. Okay. And I think it's really good against Infect. 
and good against if somebody plays Bug Delver or Sultai Delver too. Okay. It's like or Elves is not bad against. Okay. Yeah. It seems like you, you've mentioned three decks that I think you can you can put players <laughs> yeah. in the tournament on. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? I know it's a trend there. Do yeah. you think you could ever just like bring it in against the normal deck? Like, would you ever just, bring just to cast it just to pay five? For five, maybe against like Reanimator. They're like. Elish Norn, you're like five mana. I brought it in against Dredge once. Oh, did you? That was a mistake. That I should not mistake. have done that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, extra Liliana uh, is really good against any control decks. Permicious Deed, great just to wipe away everything. Mm -hmm. And of course, Vidalion Click, never really excellent against anything. Sure. But always nice to be able to bring in against a variety of decks. Yeah, n never terrible. For yeah, sure. exactly. All right. Yeah, so that's the deck right there. Yeah, for sure. Soul Side Control. So this is kind of a throwback, I want to say. Like, yeah, yeah, probably. It's Flashback Friday, Throwback Thursday. Yeah. Or what's the Saturday one? I don't know. Uh, See, long time ago. Players Championship Saturday is <laughs> what it is. Players Championship Saturday, yeah. <laughs> Which is coming up, so um, good luck in that. So if you like Sultai and, you know, you're not having too much success with the Sultai Delver, mm -hmm. maybe try this deck. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks for coming in and uh, walking through it with us. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. Stick around. We've got plenty more coverage coming at the Players' Championship here in Roanoke.